will be no straws, I promise. Los Angeles, November 2019. The skies are polluted. The world is addicted to oil. But we're here to offer a solution. The cyber truck. The number one mode of transport for a cyber girl. The greatest evolution in vehicular, fashion, and function. I now present to you my creator. Welcome to the Cybertruck Unveil. The number one selling truck, a vehicle in America, top three uh, selling vehicles in America are pickup trucks. We have to, if to solve sustainable energy, we have to have a pickup truck. So I present to you the Cybertruck. The functionality I'm going to describe is within a space that is less than the most po popular pickup truck in the United States, the F-150. So we didn't cheat in either width, height, or length. And we're able to achieve much greater capability in the same, same dimensions, same weight. Uh, we're, we moved the mass to the outside. We created an exoskeleton. So normally the way that a truck is designed you have a body on frame, you have a bed on frame, and the, the, the body and the bed don't do anything useful. They're, they're carried like cargo, like a sack of potatoes. You, you move the stress to the outside skin. It allows you to do things that you can't do with a body on frame. So we're able to make the, the skin out of thick, ultra-hard stainless steel. It's a regular truck door. <laughs> yeah, nice. Now I hit the cyber truck. Same thing. Hit a hit a harder. Wind, I really wind up. Nail it. <laughs> yeah. What if we? What if we shot it? Let's 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 shoot it. That, that's a nine millimeter bullet shot at the door. It is literally bulletproof to a nine millimeter uh, handgun. That's how strong the skin is. So it's 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 ultra hard, cold rolled. A stainless steel alloy that we've developed. We're going to be using the same alloy in, in the Starship rocket and in the Cybertruck. So on the on the right, that's like no, normal tr truck doors. Like it might as well be made of tissue paper. That the, 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 looks like a paintball. What what about the glass? Seems like a vulnerability. <laughs> yeah, tra transparent metal glass. First, this is regular glass. This is like normal glass, car glass. I want to show you what happens with normal car glass. Shatters immediately with a, a little ball. Now I'll show you Tesla armor glass. Nothing. Ah, so it's still still there. Yeah, it's still, yeah, it's bad. A bigger ball. Franz, could you try to break this glass, please? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Oh. 
Oh my fucking god. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. <laughs> it didn't go through. Let's so that's a, that's a plus side. Let's try the right. Try that one, really? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Oh man. It didn't go through. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, not bad. A little room for improvement. We, we, we actually throw everything. We threw wrenches. Uh, we threw everything. We even literally threw the kitchen sink at the at the at the glass, and it didn't break. For some weird reason, it broke. Now I don't know why. <laughs> you know, just fix it in post. <laughs> so, in addition, the car has an adaptive uh, air suspension. It's literally built. Yeah, adaptive air suspension. So. This will come standard on all the cars. I think this is actually a very important uh, design element um, because if you have a, a if, if if every if every truck has the ability to adjust the ride height, so you can go very low or very high, so you can be efficient on the highway, and you can you can also go off roading. Um, it's going to have uh, the highest clearance of any any production truck, so we're going to have a, a, a about a, a 16 inch clearance, um, and. Uh, you can adjust this on the fly, so it's adaptive damping and, and adaptive uh, ride, ride height. These these are actually extremely important for a truck, because trucks when you only drive them, they're either too cushy or they're they're too hard. Um, you need it to be able to adjust dynamically depending upon what the load is. If you've got a lot of people on board, if you've got a full bed in the in the back, it's got to adjust accordingly. The rear is 100 cubic feet, six and a half foot uh, length bed length, uh, up to 3,500 pounds of payload. But what about a real world, real world test? Like, let's let's uh, actually have a tug of war here with an F-150. Yeah. So you can see, you know, we're see, see which one can pull which. Let's let's uh, let's do the tug of war video. Okay. Yeah, but it was uphill. Now let's see the. How does this uh, compare to uh, a Porsche 911? Okay, we're gonna give the Porsche a little bit of a head start. Yeah, this is a that was a current current edition Porsche. That this, and this is the actual truck. That this is not CGI. In terms of off-road performance, it's gonna have the best. Uh, angular approach angle, best clearance heights, best departure angle. For people that are really uh, going off road, this is going to be great. So you can basically do the Baja rally in this thing. We have three ranges. So obviously, they'll have access to all the superchargers, uh, be capable of uh, more than 250 kilowatts. We'll reveal the actual number later. Uh, and uh, it has onboard outlets for 110 and, 100 and 220 volts. So. You don't need a generator. Yeah. The, the, the truck literally is your generator. Um, and as a little plus, because it's got an air suspension, we can tap off the air suspension so you have a, a, a pneumatic source. So you have an, a, a, yeah. yeah. You onboard air compressor. Of course, it will come with autopilot standard. Yeah. So the, the way three versions. And but it's gonna So that, that's the price without any incentives. That's just like the price without any incentives. Um, but the the actual economics are even better than that. Uh, because the cost of electricity is much less than the cost of gasoline. So when you look at the actual cost of ownership here. Uh, it's it's you know you you're paying uh, much less for electricity than you are for for gasoline. You're paying much less for maintenance. There's no oil changes, no smog checks, no nothing, none of that stuff. Uh, so your maintenance is low, your cost of operations is low, um, and so it's actually comparable to a, a truck, a gasoline truck that's ten to fifteen thousand dollars less. All right, thank you. Oh wait. We, have, uh, we, we made an, uh, We also made an ATV. So.
So you can see the, the truck. This is what I mean by the adaptive air suspension. Yeah, that's nice work, by the way. Um, so the adaptive air suspension, you can drop real low and you go high on the other side. We call this load mode. So you've got a load mode, you've got a built-in ramp. So you can take an ATV or dirt bike, whatever you want, and load it on the back. Yes. Oh, I can, and it's 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 current it's it's currently plugged in and charging. Yeah. If you look at the, the car is adjusting itself. So you can go like real tight on the freeway, and you can go way high off roading. Yeah. All right. Thank you.